Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome Ninjago video on the channel. I am starting these trends of videos today for the brand new Ninjago crystallized news and just talks about stuff that we're getting because there's loads and loads and loads of content that's being dropped via leaks. If it's Lego sets, if it's news about the story, about the show, there is loads of stuff going on. So I do hope you guys will check out the videos. I'm posting about six videos today, so I do hope you guys will enjoy them. But not here to waste your time. Let's just get into straight what I wanted to talk about in today's video. So if people did not see the leaks for the set called Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon... We can finally see Lloyd, right? Which, of course, oh, well, Lloyd, well, it's just Lloyd. But if people look at it, he's in a Oni form. And, oh, my God, I know I'm not sounding excited about it, but it's just, I don't want to sit here and, like, ramble about it and, like, make this video long. And normally when I'm very excited about things... I usually tend to stutter a lot. I know you guys don't want to hear that, but I am generally very excited. The sad thing is that that Pacific minifigure is exclusive to that set, but we can see it. It is Lloyd in a Oni form with gold and green as the colors for his Oni form. And I'm not really like 100% sure if this is his golden o Oni form and he has another version of the Oni form. Not really 100% sure, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because it is a very, very cool and interesting topic. And it's just insane, right? Because I've been saying this for the longest time to a lot of my friends and stuff like this. There was never a time in Ninjago where Lloyd didn't have the power to transform into an Oni. It wasn't like he couldn't do it. I was just waiting for the time where the creators of the series will finally, finally have it added into the story of Ninjago. Because if you want to get biological uh, like that way... The first Spinjitsu Master would be 50% Oni. Because he's half dragon, half Oni. Of course. And then Lord Garmadon, of course, being Lloyd's father. Which we can see in Season 10, March of the Oni. Him donning his own Oni form. By him, of course, being around 20-25% to 25 Oni. That being Lord Garmadon, of course. So Lloyd would be around 5 to 10% Oni around there if you want to get like real like biological with it. But really, long story short, like to make it short, Lloyd is an Oni. So, I mean, th again, there was never like anything to the point that Lloyd couldn't have his own Oni form. That's why when I'm seeing this, I'm generally excited, but I'm not surprised. Because I knew that it was going to come eventually. If you actually sit there and process the story and you can see, okay, well, Loic literally could have done that at any time. He just has to find it, I guess, inside of him. Like, I don't know. Like, of course, the, sh the show isn't out yet, of course, but, s but, but somehow... He's going to find out a way to turn into his Oni form, and it's going to be crazy. And the one thing I do like about it is, is that Lloyd's going to be overpowered. I mean, like, Lloyd is going to be OP. Like, he's going to be good, because the thing is, is that not only does he now have this new Oni transformation, he has his elemental power, too, of energy, so that two combined forces, elemental powers with this Oni power-up, that's going to be awesome just visually to look at and just literally just to see him do the damage he's going to do. Wow, I can't wait for this season. So yeah, uh, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. 
Again, these are going to be like short, like four to five minute videos talking about news and stuff like that. So I do hope you guys will enjoy the content. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next one. Bye.